in this video I'm going to show you how to create a post page uh, if we click on posts and have one of the articles we don't have a choice of the template like we have in uh, pages to do that we need to install a plugin click on add new and type custom posts template and search a plugin and this is a plugin that will do the job for us so we install that and activate the plugin once it's activated we need to go into our editor and single post template and we're going to copy this all of it and then log into your cPanel <coughs> and go into file manager and scroll uh, browse to your themes folder and I'm using 2010 normally you need to use a 2010 child theme uh, and make changes in that but I'm making it in the 2010 theme since this is just a test WordPress uh, we're going to create a file called full page posts and I have already created one so I've just delete this one and we create a file and name it full with post PHP then click on the name full page post PHP and click on edit file and then click on edit and it should be a blank file we're going to copy that code that we just got from the single PHP file here this is the code that creates that post page and what we're going to do is take this sidebar out because if you're going to use a full width post then you don't need the sidebar so we take the sidebars out leave the rest as it is and we need to change the template down here uh, this is a default name that's given to the template we're going to change that and make it template name posts full And the other change you need to make is the uh, install CSS. Now I already made the change, but I'll show you what change need to be made. So we go into our C panel again. We can save this file for now because otherwise we lose it. So we save this file. And we go into I have already made the change in style CSS, but I would need to show you what change needs to be made. So we go on style CSS 
and click edit and edit again and if you scroll down a little bit this is a change that I made uh, I just copied this code down here and put it down here and made it 900 pixels same as this one 900 pixels so that you have a full width page and then save your style CSS Once you saved your style CSS, we can come back into our file that we just saved. Uh, it was full post. One column full post page full page post dot com page PHP. click edit and click edit again and in the file you need to add the class equals to full width and then with the quotes in full width and then save this file the three changes you made is the template name the class and take the sidebar out and then save the change once you've done that we can go back into our admin and this is a sample article that I have and I don't have a read more on it so I just put a break down here that will break the article and on we should have a choice of what width you want to use now similar to what we have in the pages the default template would be the one with a sidebar full width posts will be the one without the sidebar so we save we use the full width and publish or update now if we go on to view the page and click on article it will be full width but uh, if you click on the article itself then you would have the sidebar with the first continue reading I hope this video has helped you how to add a full post template on your <coughs> theme if, if, if I could click on this we'll re read the full article on a full post without sidebar